parts of breathing and putting the parts together. This is simply breathing deep, which is nothing advanced. It's simple enough that anyone can do it, and it brings amazing health benefits for anyone. So in the yogic way of dealing with breath, it is divided into three parts, three parts of the lungs, there's six lobes. And the first part has to do with the diaphragm moving down, which presses all the digestive organs out of the way, so your belly bulges up. This draws the air down into the bottom section of your lungs. It creates a massaging effect for all the internal organs that are being uh, compressed and released. In action, it looks like this. The belly goes out and down when I'm breathing in, like this. When I exhale, diaphragm goes up and my belly is squeezing in. This is called abdominal breathing. The motion of this compression release on all the lower internal organs creates a better circulation of uh, blood and lymphatic fluid through the bottom section of the body, while that circulation has a much higher level of oxygen. So it brings rejuvenation and healing to that area. This is one part of the breathing. Second part is the midsection, which is done with the ribs, and the ribs move out to the side laterally, like an accordion going out and in, and it draws the air into the midsection of the lungs as a separate motion and brings the air to a different area of the lungs. So midsection looks like this, ribs going out and back in. It isn't only a lateral to the sides motion, because the ribs are also moving a little bit to the front and a little bit to the back. A way of testing is bringing your hands around the sides, fingers come around the front and your thumbs go to the back. Now you can feel your hands opening up like this as you breathe. In breath, out breath. This brings the same expansion contraction into the area right around the lungs, the heart, the heart cavity, the thymus gland, triggering better circulation within the muscle of the heart itself, within the lungs. And the thymus gland is one of the key glands that stimulates the autoimmune system. So by bringing that back to life, our health improves another notch. Simply breathing out, Breathing in and out. Anyone with heart conditions of almost any type using this kind of breathing, the heart conditions kind of go down, fade away. It would take, of course, some practice. So many minutes per day, several times a day is quite beneficial. Now we come into the upper section of breath, which is the rising and falling of the chest. This brings the air into the upper lobes of the lungs. And with good exhalation in this area, empties out this upper section, which tends to get a little congested and trapped with too much carbon dioxide. And this creates breathing disorders, difficulties, as in asthma. So observe how my whole chest simply rises and falls. So there's not much movement in the abdomen, very little with the midsection, it's simply a rising and falling. This brings greater circulation, helps with the movement of body fluids from the upper chest up through the neck and even into the head. So with that movement and better circulation, again we have oxygen getting into this area. More oxygen to the brain is a good thing. The brain cells use as much oxygen or more than muscles. 
So if you have an intellectual job, you're sitting at your desk and getting tired, simply do some of this rising and falling. It can feel relieving, refreshing, and recharging. Those are the three parts. Now, they all come together into a complete deep breath, which goes from the bottom to the mid and to the upper. And this is done in that sequence, abdominal, mid, upper. The exhalation is done in the same sequence, abdomen, mid, and upper, creating an upward flow and movement of the air going out and an upward flow of prana energy moving up the spine, looking like this when we put it all together. So as you're learning to do these, it's good to practice each section until each one is moving to full capacity and then putting the three sections together into this complete breath. Try to do the complete breath without uh, emphasizing each of the part and separating them. It makes it much more difficult and you end up not getting that complete breath. So practicing each of the parts, abdominal, mid, and then the upper, putting it all together, a side view of the same thing. Also, it is important when you are exhaling to squeeze everything out. This is a weak point in many people. We let go of the breath, but we don't fully exhale. So it tends to lead to a buildup of carbon dioxide in one area or another, which creates a little bit of a stress level. So making a little bit of an effort on the squeezing out and really compressing everything to squeeze the air out. That embodies complete deep breathing, putting together the three parts. Beneficial for anyone, easy to do. You don't have to be sitting on a yoga mat in a classical posture. You can do this sitting in your office chair, on your couch. It's simply a way of breathing more deeply and every cell in your body requires oxygen every minute of the day. So by supplying that oxygen, the cells remain in a much healthier state. That's it for today's lesson. Thank you for listening.